Hello everyone. I want to say thank you for everyone who watches these videos. It is my honor and my privilege to bring you out of the darkness into the light of the real Bible teaching not a fabrication misguided from the governing body and watchtower to make Jehovah's Witnesses that um, they're the only true tra channel. I recorded a 30 minute um, talk but it's going to be broken down because a lot of good gems in this in this in this uh, 30 minute talk. The first part of the talk is talking about um, we need a new world. Something better than what we have now. Oh really Watchtower? Very, in very, very interesting. You put this in this talk for this person to to give. So let's jump into it and uh, let's have some fun with it. A new world. Why? Yes, why do we need a new world? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Because no doubt we know we need a new world, don't we? You see, when you turn to local news or the world news, what do you see? Or what do we hear? Well, we hear of another killing, another terrorist plot or attempt, another suicide bombing, another natural disaster claiming thousands of innocent lives. Like the earthquakes that have been taking place over the past several years. And you may recall some of them in Haiti, Chile, Costa Rica, United States, Nepal. How about some years ago, that natural disaster that claimed hundreds of thousands of innocent lives? And most recently, the wildfires that have been taking place in California. And just this past week, the hurricane that touched down in Hawaii. And let's not forget rape, war, murder, crime is on the rise. And the list just seems to go on and on and on and on. No doubt we live in a world that is alienated from God. Spiritually sick and contagious and darkened. And that which the Apostle Paul said, critical times, hard to deal with. That part, he said... It's accurate. But here's the problem. What have been put on the news? What have been put on radio stations? YouTube channels? So it's about Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, he mentioned about crime and all that. What about all the crimes that Watchtower has destroyed innocent people's lives to cover up their dark secrets. And this is one of their dark secrets. This book, you can't even call it the Bible. This book is to doctrinate you and gradually 
turn you into an evil, cold-hearted person with the aid of Watchtower's literature, their talks. People, when you see and hear about Jehovah's Witnesses murdering people because they don't want them died during the Armageddon so they want to kill these people before the Armageddon and the Bible states even a friend of mine when she was a young girl she asked her mama what she's getting from their teaching and the book of Revelation Armageddon is after the thousand years so do we have two Armageddons? Well technically Watchtower only teaches one Armageddon and that can happen any time. So, if the Bible teaches one thing, and Watchtower deliberately teaches another thing, and by using something like this and call it God's Word the Holy Scriptures or in this case the Holy Dark Scriptures books like this should be burned. They're, they're talking about getting rid of the Bibles. Will they replace the Bibles with something like this? Will the governments use books like this to get rid of the real Bibles? To turn everybody into Jehovah Witnesses. And that's what this evil book would do. It would turn you into something like a Jehovah Witness. Witnesses has been killing people for many years. Because you got men claiming they have more knowledge and remember don't go over the thinking that you know more than the governing body otherwise Jehovah may bend you over give you a good spanking or something in the neighborhood see when men pointed themselves to be more Bible knowledge is because you gave up your rights to sit down, analyze the Bible, and learn what God's Word truly is. Without the guidance and the mind conception someone else was granted the wisdom to interpret the Bible for you. Could you imagine to live in a world being controlled by Jehovah's Witnesses? You couldn't lock your doors 
No, you can't unlock your doors. So you have to lock your doors. You have to put a tracking device to make sure your children are where they're supposed to be. Because you don't know. It could be your best friend. Could be an elder. Could have your child and molesting and raping them. I don't want li live in a world that's going to be controlled by Jehovah's Witnesses. But that's what we was taught. At the end of the Armageddon before a thousand years, the only one going to be poking their heads up is Jehovah's Witnesses. Everybody else will be dead and gone. People, that is what is critical to know your enemy, to know how he thinks, know how he walks, how he eats. And know if he's like a poker dealer, he's bluffing and he has nothing in his hand he can play. But he's a good bluffer. And that's exactly what Watchtower is. They don't have the actual knowledge, wisdom, everything that make a good hand to win or at least break even playing poker. Let's go ahead and go in this little bit more. We'll be here. So there are many reasons why we need a new world. And we're going to speak about two of those reasons. Now, one reason why we need a new world is because of fear. You see, people throughout the world live in fear. Fear? What about the little children who got raped? Fear? That same child, boy or girl, had to be in a room with three elders and maybe, just maybe, one of them will be the pedophile or they'll have the pedophile in the same room. How dare you talk about fear when you have fear among the members of your religion? You force these children to submit and give up their innocence to these pedophiles. And you know your two witness rule does not apply raping children or women. You don't need a what you don't need a two witness rule. You know why? They got they got polygraphs. Lying machines, and they almost accurate. They got women that I have, well, actually, like secret agent men, uh, different police officers. They can look, examine within less than two minutes, determine if a child is telling the tru truth or the person who being accused what they did to the child to see if they're guilty or not. Apparently your accusations and making people believe that there's only fear on the outside and when there's more 
control fear inside your own religion? Come on, people, wake up. And they have every reason to be fearful. But now, why is that the case? Well, in New York City, it used to be that people were afraid to walk the streets at night because of fear of being robbed, killed, or even raped. But now, what do we see taking place a lot later during the early morning hours? People being robbed, killed, and raped. And that was the case some time ago with three individuals, um, two from Oregon, USA, and another from Canada. And also one of the Awake articles had to say about these two separate incidents under the subheading, Violent Crime, What is Happening? And it says, Frank and Gabrielle... Before we get into that, how can you cl worry about helping to clean the outside where the world is to bring them into a, a place that where freedom and innocent and love where you can't even fix the dangers in your own organization inside your own kingdom halls this talk makes no sense if you have done the research I have and others we're not the liars here the liars is from the person who's giving this talk all the way back up to the governing body there's the there's the ones that people are scared of because they fear they're gonna lose the family they fear they're gonna lose everything that makes them who they are and these men it's nothing but jokers con artists they're nothing Let's continue. Gabriella strolled along the Oregon USA seashore in the early morning hours watching the sunrise. They had no inkling of what was about to happen. Minutes later, they were both dead, shot in the head at close range. Was it vengeance or jealousy? Neither. The gunman, a stranger, fulfilled a fantasy. He wanted to know what it felt like. To kill someone. Oh, what about an elder with his fantasy? His fantasy. See how it is to rape children. Could you imagine to terrify that kid's? at that time have you heard the stories some of these s witnesses especially the females and some of the males have given the horrible nightmares they went through had their innocence taken away and some of them Later down the line, there's so much that end up committing suicide. Remember, this is Jehovah's Witnesses, true religion. We don't hurt children. We don't put our children in harm in any way. And I don't know if it was this one or another one I was listening to. Asking Jehovah Witnesses, would you die for your brothers and sisters to save their lives? You know, one time I thought of that myself, that I would die for any of them. Now I realize now. If 
I die for a human being to save their lives, that's one thing. But I am not going to sacrifice my life for a false religion. Die for a worthless cause. And knowing that I was in a false religion. Let's continue a little bit more. This other incident says a 65-year-old retiree in Canada was out for his early morning bike ride. As he pedaled along, he was hit from behind by a driver who left him for dead. His bike was dragged more than 700 yards down the road. At first, it was thought to be a hit-and-run accident, but a further investigation indicated that he had been hit by the driver of a stolen car out for a joyride. Apparently, hitting the cyclist was part of the thrill. You see, how do you know what part of these stories is real and what parts is made up? Unless you catch the bad guy and prosecute and to get the real truth out of him, how does Watchtower know exactly what happened? You don't, people. Just like this book here, it has a lot of truth in it. And I'm going to say maybe 20, 30 percent truth in it, and everything else is built on lies, twisted scriptures, and all. So it's time to make a decision. Do you want to live in a world that's being controlled? by evil men. You won't get out of one wicked world not to jump back into one would be more dangerous. And the reason why I call it more dangerous because they, they call it God's organization. It's like having a gardener snake that harmless but is actually a different type of a snake that changed like that just like that like, into a cobra and I'm using that because that don't happen but that's exactly what Watchtower is. They make, they want you to think they are harmless, but they are more dangerous. And that same thing, the people who knocks on your door, they look harmless. You won't bring them in, bring them around your kids and all that, because some of them don't know they got pedophiles don't want to see what people show them how dangerous their religion is. People, you have to treat them as a poisoning snake that looks so innocent that you want to make a pet out of it. So I hope this video will get you to think Why we refuse to acknowledge this fake Bible can change into God's Word, the Holy Bible. And the only one could do that. 
that would be Christ and his Father and just transform this evil book into the real Bible. Otherwise that people it is unholy and it's just like a witchcraft books black magic anything that you could think of evil this book is not too far of those kinds of books but I would put it on top of all this other stuff because you know when you mess with reaches warlocks and all of that you know what they are by all the movies you have seen but unless you have seen all the evidence of Jehovah Witnesses and all the evil everything this book is more dangerous because it will draw you to Satan's organization it will draw you closer to Satan the devil And that's a guarantee. So thank you very much. And y'all have a wonderful day.